Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a collective haul. This video is very random. We have a lot of new releases. We have stuff from indie houses. And yeah, let's just get into it. First up, I have Burberry Her Elixir de Parfum. I wasn't really sure if I was interested in this fragrance, but as soon as I saw the reviews flowing in, I knew I needed to try it. I actually blind bought this and I really do love it. It is the only creamy flanker that Burberry has done for her. And honestly, this is just my favorite from the line. If you want a more in-depth review and you want me to rank all the Burberry Her flankers, I will put that video linked down below. I purchased a backup of Britney Spears In Control Curious because I was in love with the one that I got. This smells like Victor and Rolf's Bonbon bon in the beginning, but it is not the same. It is not a dupe. It completely transforms into this yummy creme brulee delicious vanilla like i i can't with this fragrance it is so perfect to me they need to make this more accessible because right now i don't think any of the gray market i think that's what it's called i don't think like fragrance net or fragrance x are restocking it so i also got a backup of this cupcake swirl and i do really really like this scent from body fantasies but I think it's slightly synthetic, which, you know, is to be expected just because these are so cheap, like under $5, I think. Um, I was only able to find the minis, so I have two of the minis. But I really like how this is just a normal big sized bottle, so I might sell my two minis or I might keep them. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm normally not the person who strategically purchases things just to sell them later for a higher price. But I do feel like this is one of those things that I just saw the opportunity and I was like, you know what, I think that in the future, if this is discontinued, that people will really want it. It's kind of like those scents like Confetti Cake Pop from Bath & Body Works or just anything that's super cakey and vanilla. It's just widely popular and I think that if I end up not using it in the future, I will be able to sell it. I think this would be great for layering. I think it's a really good scent. It's not bad. I wouldn't have bought it if I hated it, but I just don't think it's perfect. So I don't want to sit here and rave about it and say that it has no flaws. It definitely does smell slightly artificial, but I think it's something you could look past. So I had never heard of this brand before. This is ASMR Fragrances and they do have ASMR videos that go with each of their fragrances, which I think is so interesting. If you guys don't know, I really, really love ASMR. I watch it every night to go to bed. This is the scent Yummy, Yummy Tingles. And this is a French brand. The reason I heard about this brand was because of the Gourmand King, also known as Baron. He is pretty well known in the fragrance community. He's like in a bunch of the Facebook groups and he actually has a channel on YouTube and I always watch his videos because again, he's the gourmand king and I love gourmand fragrances. So he posted a review of this scent. I don't like the bottle, but whatever. It's not ugly, I guess. It's just very bland. I do trust Baron's opinion, but there are some fragrances that he likes that I don't like. So I was kind of nervous to see if because he did rave about this yummy fragrance. I was nervous to see if it was going to be one of those cases. But this is really, really nice. Honestly, it just reminds me of Sharosa 71, but not as good. So for that, this is very affordable. For 50 mil, you get it for like $36 or $38. It's easily accessible on Amazon. I think that it's good. Um, I forgot the notes, you guys. But you can see on the packaging, it has these waffles and caramel. So... I know it's something like that, like French toast or these really nice gourmand notes. So I was expecting that and you definitely get that. Yeah, it's really good. Like I, I don't have any complaints. I don't think it smells artificial. I think it's a little soft. Like it's not super, super soft, like a skin scent, but it's definitely not like an straight de parfum or like something that's in your face. I think that I like Shirosa 71 a bit more because to me it's a slightly more complex. So this has like the caramel and the sweetness and it's gourmand for sure but I like how Shirosa 71 has like a nuttiness to it and to me it's just like even more edible. I love Shirosa 71 and that one's a body mist and this one's an eau de parfum so I don't know. I would recommend checking it out if that intrigues you. You want Shirosa 71 but in a perfume. 
However, you know, it is kind of risky because you can't, like, returning perfumes is a hassle. I tried to return this just because, yes, it's good. I would recommend it. But honestly, I just prefer a 71 and I already have it. So I don't need this. And I wasn't able to return it. So, the, like, I'm giving it a good review. But I'm also saying that, you know, it's not good enough to keep. And I've just been very, very picky about what I put into my collection. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna like sell this or give it away at some point. Okay, Naked Fantasy by Britney Spears. I was super, super excited about this one because of the notes. It had peach, applejack, cupcake. It just sounded like it was going to be a peachy cupcake dream with a little bit of apple. I just literally repeated everything. And I saw Spencer, also known as Fragrance Collection on Instagram and YouTube mentioned that he did not like this one that it was a huge letdown for him and also when i saw the frosted bottle in his video i was like are you actually kidding me i don't like this at all i was hoping it would be opaque like i don't know in this picture i thought we were gonna get some sort of like pinky beigey opaque bottle just like most of them but no we got this frosted bottle which i think is similar to the maui one and the fantasy in bloom anyways the scent intimate fantasy but slightly softer like when i tell you guys trust me this is intimate fantasy you do not need it like literally i feel a little bit scammed because i feel like all they did was put intimate fantasy into this bottle maybe add a little bit more water and that's it um i will say like i was wearing intimate fantasy the other day and i think it was a little harsh because it does have like that lemon and those solar notes and those ozonic notes and so they were coming off kind of aggressive on my skin this is softer so i do kind of but it smells literally the same like trust me it's just like slightly softer so it won't be as obnoxious on the skin but that's not saying much i'm just like i could like i could try and force myself to smell apples or force myself to smell peach but I just I truly don't like it's not screaming peach to me it's not screaming apple um very 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 disappointing and I feel bad if anybody bought this because of me but honestly I mean it's still a great scent it's a new packaging but it's nothing new to the fantasy line and if you already own intimate fantasy then I see it as a negative but if you don't own intimate fantasy you, you might enjoy it Again, I think Intimate Fantasy is a great flanker. I still own it. I got rid of a bunch of my perfumes and Intimate Fantasy still stayed in my collection. But that's all fine and dandy, but they should have given us a new fragrance with some peach and apple, like what they said. So I just feel a little bit deceived. Next up, we have this Frenchie Discovery set. And this brand is only available at Target. This is Ashley Tisdale's line. And she has like all sorts of things like bath bombs body wash body lotion but also fragrance so like fragrance mist and a roll-on perfume oil so the only reason i bought the discovery set was honestly because the fragrance that i wanted was sold out this is soothe and comfort cashmere vanilla and it is in stock online i made a tiktok about it recently and it's gotten like fifteen thousand views and so if it sells out by the time you see this video i'm sorry but we have joy and bliss which is solar fleur it's how it sounds it's a nice solar white floral fragrance i definitely think it's cute but it's not something i would purchase balance and harmony this is bergamot cedar i really want my boyfriend to wear this fragrance it smells so good it's just woody and masculine and i really love it citrus amber believe it or not i actually still haven't smelled this one okay we should probably do that yeah i mean it's it's very citrusy i like i don't hate citrus fragrances as long as there's a balance and it does smell pretty it just smells kind of like a hand soap to me um and then i have unwind and rest which is lavender cloud and that one i really like too it has cardamom and lavender and i think a tea note if i'm not mistaken it's just really really pretty for bedtime and it's not like a super medicinal herbal lavender it's actually really really well balanced unlike the citrus fragrance so you guys my favorite i had to put it in an atomizer because honestly these atomizers kind of suck i've seen floral street use the same ones like the same kind of component and they look nice because they're not just a dabber they're a sprayer but they're very like hit or miss like some of them will work perfectly fine and then some of them 
you literally like cannot spray it until you just, I don't know, like wait 20 minutes and then go and spray it again. It's just really stupid. Um, so that's a negative. You can eventually like take the top off if you want to and then just start doing your own thing. But yeah, that's just a hassle that I wanted to point out. But you guys, I had to order the Frenchie Fragrance Mist online because this is so good. Like I don't want to smell like anything else right now. Like I swear to God, I've been wearing this for like a week straight. Haven't been touching anything else. And I'm so upset that I filmed my favorite vanillas video because this is like, I don't want to say like number one, but this is definitely up there. So my number one favorite vanilla is Accident a la Vanille, which is a very gourmand, super sweet, sugary, biscuity, cakey vanilla. This is like the antithesis of it because it's just, well, not really the antithesis, but it is sweet. It is vanillic, but it has a ton of sandalwood. So you have to like sandalwood, I feel like. Because if you're one of those people that like you hate the smell of sandalwood, I don't think you'll like it. It adds that woody touch, not even just a touch, like it adds that woody component that I adore. And what else is in here? I totally forgot. Like to me, it's just vanilla and sandalwood. And I will say, I feel like my Discovery Set sample lasted so much longer on my skin and I could smell it a lot more than when I bought the full thing. Like I noticed that whenever I put this on, I'm like struggling to smell it, which I don't know if it's cause I'm anosmic to it. You know how you just get that way after a while? Like, I don't know. So that's something I've been noticing. I have to, like, I can't just do a quick three or four sprays like I was able to do with my sample. I have to do like quite a bit more in order for me to smell it. And especially on my clothes, it lasts really long on my clothes. So yeah, it's a body mist. I kind of expected something like that but I thought it would last longer because of how my sample performed and I'm kind of weirded out by that so I bought the perfume oil it's coming in the mail I also bought a backup because my video started getting a little bit of traction and I was like girl since I'm so addicted to this right now I need a backup so I will let you guys know how the perfume oil is next time I do a favorites video this is 100% going to be in there probably with a dent by that point and so I just have nothing else to say to you guys. Like if you have a Target near you, go check. I mean, I went to like two Targets near me and they were both out of stock. So I would just recommend ordering online because this is so freaking good. I really like all the fragrances from the line so far, but this is my favorite and this is the only one I'll be purchasing in a full bottle. I'm moving through this video so slowly, you guys. Okay, next up is Skylar's latest fragrance. This is their scent of the month. This is Garden Party. I talked about Skylar in a previous video saying how, how I feel about the Scent Club program so you guys can check that out if you're interested but these notes are creamy marzipan almond blossom and coconut macaron and I thought I would love it because of those notes like there's just rarely going to be a case where I hate a coconut fragrance but this is one of those cases as soon as I smelled it it just smelled completely off to me the florals in here are very I don't know they're just very floral if that makes sense they kind of smell like chemicals they just I do smell sort of a sweet coconut thing that they're trying to have going on in the background and I really like that and I wish that that was the primary focus maybe I'm the only one who feels this way but this just smells very synthetic and harsh to me and it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me so House of Siage came out with their Minnie Mouse fragrance they previously came out with the Mickey Mouse fragrance so they decided to follow up. I purchased the Discovery set just to try them both out. I really only wanted to try Minnie Mouse though because that one had really delicious notes. I'll put them up on the screen. It was like raspberry and white chocolate. As soon as I smell this, I get candy. Like, I don't know if it's sweet tarts, but the nerd ropes or something like that. Some sort of candy. I can literally smell like the sour, sweet sugar crystals that it's on the candy and the fruits. And I just don't like it, to be honest with you. I don't know, I was expecting raspberry and white chocolate and for this to smell more sophisticated because these are so expensive. It doesn't smell bad, it doesn't smell offensive. And as a gourmand lover, like I love sweet perfumes. If this were advertised as a candy perfume, like if it was literally supposed to be like candy hearts or candy ropes, like I would have been sold because it's accurate. And it smells good. I don't know, but to me, 
it was a little bit of a letdown actually and I was totally expecting Mickey Mouse to be a flop because the notes scared me like the cardamom and all the notes I was just thinking I'm not going to jive with it the only reason I bought this discovery set was to smell Minnie Mouse because you can't just get like a sample of Minnie Mouse by itself and I was really surprised to find out that I much prefer Mickey Mouse it's this gorgeous coconut scent it's actually amazing um, I think it was giving me a headache not sure why so I might have to wear it on another day maybe that day I was just like PMSing like who knows but oh, like besides the headache that's just something I can't help I thought that the scent was gorgeous very well balanced it was sweet but not too sweet it was really nice and I didn't find the cardamom to be super spicy like honestly I couldn't really smell the cardamom at all so if that's a concern of yours I would not be worried so yeah I definitely see how Mickey is the more masculine fragrance and Minnie is the more feminine fragrance. So everything in this video about myself except for these two fragrances from Pin Rose, they were graciously gifted to me so thank you so much. I was just really happy to receive some PR because it doesn't always happen especially for smaller influencers so um, yeah I didn't have to mention them in this video. It was just a gift, but I want to mention them because I actually love Sunset. I actually did get PR from Pinrose before and I got samples of each of their fragrances. They came in little petal towelettes um, and Sunset was my favorite. So this time around, I said I would love to have Sunset because I think it is amazing. And I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Look at this packaging. It's really cute. This fragrance is just so cool and unique. It just has a lot of notes that I don't normally see. So yes, it has the typical coconut sandalwood with some citrus, which I already adore. But then it has eucalyptus and it has a yuzu note. The yuzu, I think, definitely adds some sort of tart fruitiness that's very unique. But also the eucalyptus, I love that added touch. I think it works really well with coconut and sandalwood. And this is just amazing. Then I was also given Pillow Talk Poet. And I'm not the biggest fan of this fragrance, just for me personally. My mom didn't really like it either. Like, I don't think it's bad. It's definitely like a cozy, powdery, like emphasis on powdery fragrance. I could see how it could work for bedtime. I could see how this would be like someone who likes clean, fresh perfumes that are also very powdery, if that makes sense. Like clean and powdery. If that's you, I think you'll like this. It just kind of smells like someone's laundry detergent maybe but yes um I'm not a big fan of that one I can't recommend it in good faith but I love this one also I forgot to mention with Sunset there is some salt and I feel like salt can so easily be overdone but it's not overdone in this fragrance there's a dash of it you can smell it but it's really really stunning so thank you so much Pinrose for sending these over let's get on with the rest of this haul so from Sniff, I ordered Tarte Deco. I did the try before you buy, so you have the seven day trial period. And if you don't like it, you need to ship it back within seven days and then you can get your, not refund, but they won't charge you for the $65. And I was fully expecting to like this, but I really don't. Someone reviewed this and said that they smell some leather in the opening, even though it's not listed. And I feel the same way. I don't think it's an obnoxious deal-breaking leather. I mean, maybe it was deal-breaking for me. Actually, no, the leather wasn't the problem. So there's no leather listed. I think it's just like birch wood, raspberry, black cherry. To me, yes, it does smell a little bit like a black cherry versus a cherry, but I do feel like I still get like a traditional cherry, if that makes sense. Maybe the black cherry with the raspberry came across as just a cherry. You get to keep your sample so I'm gonna keep it but I did end up shipping the fragrance back because I don't know just for me I'm not gonna wear it so what's the point. My problem with this was that it was a little cough syrupy, a little synthetic. Um, I don't know I just I didn't like it on my skin every time like I wore it just for one day so maybe that's bad but you only have seven days to try it out and like ship it back so I'm one of those people I can pretty much tell the first time I smell it and then once I do the wear test like I'm pretty solid in that decision um sometimes I will go back on my word but anyways 
this was time sensitive and I just felt like whenever I got whiffs of it, I didn't like the scent. I will say that this lasted pretty long. Like I could smell it by the end of the day and I was a little bit annoyed by it because I didn't really like the fragrance. But yeah, it's a good performer. It does smell like cherries, but it just has this, like that typical artificial cough syrupy cherry note that I don't like. And I didn't like that leathery scent that I was getting. I'm not sure what was the cause of it. But yeah, that, that's my opinion on Tarte Deco. I was very excited for it, but it wasn't for me. Okay, so I was on TikTok and I saw Carbonated Kelly talking about this fragrance. This is Faye by Scent Trunk. And I'm not sure if Ode Yosh, she's on Instagram and TikTok. I'm not sure if she's the owner of Scent Trunk or if she's just like a perfumer for them. I'm, I'm really not sure, but I know she has something to do with Scent Trunk. So this fragrance has the coolest notes. It's like pear, banana, taffy, coconut, something else. And I was really intrigued. Carbonated Kelly said it smells like real pastries in the dry down and that she really got the banana. And you can certainly get the, like you can get every single note, honestly. But I get the pear the most. This has a very ripe, juicy pear with bananas, with Laffy Taffy's. Honestly, to me, it's like less Laffy Taffy and more like nerds. <laughs> like this is the second time I'm mentioning candy. Y'all are going to think I'm just like hungry or something. But no, it has the same type of like nerd ropes vibe to it. Like less of the Laffy Taffy, more of that. Like I swear, it's just, it is. Yes, I get the pastries in the dry down for sure. But yeah, this scent is so unique. I've never smelled anything like it. And I give it 100% props for that. I think it's just because for me, I just don't like pear sometimes. And it's really weird because one minute, you know, I love Pear Ink by Julia Has a Gun. And I, I don't know, like I love Burberry, her EDT, but then I don't like LaBelle and I don't like God is a woman. And it just doesn't really make sense, my preferences. But this has that kind of pair that is not my favorite because it just, I was hoping for more of the banana and more of the pastries. And instead I got mostly pear with some banana and the nerds it's very realistic like nothing about this fragrance is artificial like it literally smells like those fruits and those foods but i don't know how i feel about smelling like nerds i don't know if you guys even know what i'm talking about like maybe there's some people who are not from america and they're like what are you talking about okay last up we have some samples i have this fragrance santal sugar by lorga parfums and I was not a fan of this. This is one of those fragrances that maybe I'm anosmic to some of the notes because I just really struggled to smell it at times. It's very well blended because I can barely make out the notes, but it's also like too blended because I can't pick anything out. It just smells like a fruity, harsh musk with no, and I will say it's like a sour raspberry. Like it's not one of those super sweet raspberries I don't know you guys like overall I don't I don't recommend and then lastly it's from this brand genre parfums which is a fragrance house that I found on Etsy I saw the gourmand lover oh my god I cannot remember her name I'll put it on the screen or something but she bought a full bottle of this and I wanted to sample it this is essence and I'll put the notes somewhere I think it's like raspberry benzoin caramel like it kind of reminded me of the chronic rouge extreme notes but slightly different i will say i really like this fragrance it smells high quality but i think again with the raspberry normally i love raspberry as a note so this is nothing against it personally but it's coming across a little strange in this fragrance like a little medicinal to me i like it on the skin a lot and it has a depthness like a depth to it yeah, it's nice, but I cannot shake that medicinal scent. And I think if that were gone, I would be sold. Um, but yeah, I'm happy I just got the sample because honestly, I was thinking about blind buying the full bottle. The bottle is stunning, by the way. It's like this, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. It has like this gorgeous holographic. Okay, you guys, that is it for my haul video. Let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances down below. I'm gonna go watch Don't Worry Darling and I hope that I'm not disappointed by it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.